Lately, I've been so, so, so stressed out. Moving from the US to Singapore during the COVID time, my quarantine extends from 14 to 21 days. Already a lot of logistics and inconvenience to deal with, together with financial pressures from relocation, housing, and so on. In the past couple of months, I also moved home three times, and I was finally so excited to move into my new apartment. Then the new place got moans and bed bugs, just endless of things for me to deal with. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has a lot of stress maybe you have a big mortgage to pay for or zoom calls fatigue and today's keyword is mental health and I think it's so important for us to pay attention to our mental wellness and I want to share my tips on how I manage my own stresses and I hope you to stay until the end of this video for all the comprehensive tips number one acknowledge stresses the first and the most important step is to notice the stresses in ourselves Many of us, when we run into stresses, we become less patient or our temper gets worse. We may not realize such change in our patience until someone tells us or we actually reflect on it ourselves. Or maybe we are the financial backbones of our households, especially in many Asian cultures like Japan, China, and Singapore. We have a lot of pride in ourselves and we don't want to admit we are weak in any way. And some of us think that the people who need counseling or psychologists are those who with psychiatrist issues. Mental wellness can be as simple as dealing with Zoom fatigue or tension with family relationships or your job. It's very important to understand and acknowledge where our stress stresses come from so we can avoid the stresses become depression or anxiety later on. Just like how you're pulling a rubber band every day, one day it will eventually break apart with all the accumulated tension and I don't want to see you go crazy someday. Number two, learn to say no. Saying no is hard, isn't it? I used to feel bad when I declined somebody's invitation because they already asked me so many times and I ended up accepting all the invitation and eventually made me so exhausted mentally. And now during the pandemic, a lot of us are working from home and we have so many Zoom calls every day and it's very easy for us to develop this Zoom fatigue. And also everything seems to be so important which one to really say no to. So I usually make a list of things I have to do and stick to those that are essential. Many things are optional in fact, such as replying to acquaintances message or having a coffee chat with someone you don't really know. I mean, who cares? Number three, force yourself to take vacation. With constant deadlines that we're dealing with every day, we always feel there's never a perfect time for us to take vacation. When I take my vacation, I'm still constantly doing YouTube filming without actually having the time to relax and enjoy. At some point, I just ask myself to stop. I'm not always disciplined, so sometimes I ask my friend to help me out and remind me. If you are working in some startup or Asian cultures like Japan, sometimes in Singapore, it may be hard for you to take vacation, but we need to do what we need to do. Even if a machine works long hours, it will get heat up and break down. The machine needs maintenance, so are humans. You need it, recharge yourself. Number four, do nothing. You may think doing nothing is a waste of time, but if you enjoy the experience of doing nothing, it's not a waste of time. I used to practice a do nothing Saturday. I turned off my laptop, didn't look at work, didn't reply to message on my phone to guarantee myself a real brain shutdown once a week. So I found it was very effective to deal with stresses, but of course, it's really hard to do this every week. If you have deadline on the weekend, you can always postpone this to another week. But I think regularly freeing up time to do nothing is a great way for stress relief. Number five, have plenty of sleep. Some people also say sleeping too much is a waste of time, but I don't think that way. Jeff Bezos, my ex-big boss, I used to work in Amazon, is a great example. He always guarantees himself at least 7 hours of sleep before he starts his day. In fact, it helps you recharge better and become more productive if you sleep well. Personally, when I don't sleep enough that day, it really impacts my productivity negatively, so I'm an advocate for beauty sleep. Number six, practice your hobby. There are a few things I have found that make me feel really relaxed. For example, munching snacks, listening to jazz, Latin dance, playing piano. Maybe for you it's a different set of activities. Maybe it's exercise, playing basketball, tennis, watching movies, or even eating good foods in good restaurants. I realize people who have hobby versus those who don't have a hobby, their happiness level are just different. Doing things that make you feel happy is priceless. 
So do find something you enjoy doing. Seven is journaling. I've talked about journaling a couple of times in my previous videos. One is called why I enjoy being alone. And the other video is called how 20 years of journaling changed my life. You don't have to do meditation if you find it boring. I personally don't do it either, but I highly recommend journaling, which is an underrated form of mindfulness. Through the process of journaling, you write down things that really bother you, stuck in your mind, you feel nowhere to talk to, maybe you're a private person, and you don't want to tell other people about your stories. You can also take some thoughts off your mind and really relieve stresses that make you feel heavy. If you want to see how I journal, check out my previous videos where I elaborate on more details. Anyway, I hope these tips are helpful to you. If you think it's beneficial to your friends, don't forget to share my videos with them, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of other relevant videos in my personal development playlist. Do check them out. If I can be helpful to you, join my coaching at kksuccess.com. See you at the comment section. Okay. So, should we say first or say first? Uh, you can talk first. Okay, so today is my second day in Maui. <laughs> okay. So, I found out this place because uh, I saw a video called Art of Doing Nothing. Uh, Art of Doing Nothing. Uh, and I really love the scenery. <laughs> and cut. It's a beautiful place, and she knows. Well, she, oh, sorry. Again. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can do it again. And we are right now in Yao Valley. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful here, and it's very historic and culturally rich place. Actually, um, there's a lot of history here. And right now, we're in the different villages. There's a Japanese, Korean, Filipino, Portuguese village that you can visit and it's so... I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, it's really like peaceful and you can see just at top of us, it's got all the trees. It's very green yeah, and we're like between the mountains. Going towards the, the sky mm -hmm. and on the other side, it's like a valley where it's kind of like isolated from the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh.